Hello everyone, my name is Cesar Ramirez and today we are going to be breaking down the short film Crutch. First off, if you have not seen the film Crutch yet, I will be sure to leave a link up here as well as in the description. Also, if you haven't seen the making of Crutch, I will once again leave a link up here as well as in the description. So without further ado, let's get into it. So right off the bat, you'll notice that the film literally starts with a bang. And the reason I did this was because I wanted to quickly grab the audience's attention. And we start off right here, as you can see, these close-ups of all of these picture frames. And you'll notice that the camera is glad gradually sliding from left to right. You can see this sliding right here is because we're going on a journey of Christian's life. And it's a journey that involves him being in a lot of sports. So we see him hiking. We see him running. Uh, we have him playing baseball. And then right here uh, with him playing soccer, the first thing you'll notice is that the camera is tilted. And this is what's known as, as an oblique angle. And this is what shows that something is off balance, off kiltered. And this is, of course, shown when we realize that Christian is not able to do these sports anymore. But we also see here uh, with him playing soccer, we see these medals just right here off to the side. And it shows that Christian was not only a high school athlete, but he was a great high school athlete. And another image of him, a close up of him holding a trophy. And then there's a trophy right here in the background um, and some other accolades that are shown right here. We have these medals and... The next shot in particular, so right here we have the introduction of Christian. And if we back up just a bit, you'll notice that there's this extreme close-up of this bowl. And you'll notice that the color of it is blue. Just like in Choices, um, the color blue is to resemble sadness and isolation. And we realize that Christian is not happy with his current state. Because as we know later on, we find out that it is because he is in crutches and he's unable to compete. And again, like the camera angle here, it was a zoom out to show the introduction of Christian not really looking too excited. And something I want to point out here is this water bottle. You'll notice that it's like a quarter full and it resembles Christian's life being empty without the use of sports in his life, but also when he was in that accident, it also killed an important person in his life, his mother. You know, it's just a way to just show and not tell. And that was something I was really trying to do with this film, the whole show, don't tell. And how do I tell a story without dialogue, without like any voiceover, like just with visuals. So if we continue on right here, again, we have the close up of the TV and the footage of the girls running and I superimposed this on the TV because the TV wasn't actually plugged into anything so that's why I put it later in post and this shot right here you'll notice that one there's a quick slide in on Christian but you'll also notice that the lighting is changing from dark to white dark to light and uh, that wasn't like on accident because what we did was we wanted to simulate uh, the lighting from the TV just hitting Christian's face and affecting the environment around him. So we had one of our crew members uh, start dimming one of our LED lights on and off, on and off. And right here we have a close up of the runners. You could see them right here. They're actually running towards the camera. And right here, of course, we get closer on Christian's face again not really looking too amused with what he's seeing he's sort of shaking his head again the lighting is changing as well and then we have the close-up of the runners and we have this extreme close-up of Christian's eyes just kind of glazing over the TV and he's just watching this and it's just it's just reminding him that he's not able to do this anymore until finally he just puts his hands over his face and just literally like hiding himself from watching TV. And we see again, the lighting is changing from the TV screen. He's really just unhappy with what he's seeing. And then we see him trying to struggle to get like his 
crutches. And then when we see right here, the um, one of the runners falls and the announcer mentions that, oh, the runner has fallen, but she has she quickly got back up, but that's going to cost her. Luckily, she wasn't injured. And when that happens, boom, boom, we have these two crutches fall into the frame. That's when you realize that's the reason why he's upset, because he is in crutches and he goes off screen. And then again, we hear that announcer, you know, luckily she wasn't injured, which is almost ironic because in this case, we see Christian who is injured. Next, we cut to the title screen. You'll notice right here, uh, just like with choices, um, I also wanted to do something with like the actual letters of the name. And you'll see that all of the letters here are capitalized, uh, but you'll notice that the T is slightly bigger than the other letters. And the reason is because for me, the T, it actually does look like, like a crutch. I wanted to have it stand out and just make the entire title seem a bit off kiltered and off balance. Something I also want to point out is like to the left here, we see like these hills of shoes. And this is to not only show, you know, like the usage that Christian uses his shoes when he was hiking, when he was running, playing soccer, baseball, all that stuff. But it's also a foreshadow because, again, it's a hill of shoes. So, again, we have this close-up of Christian not looking where he's going. Then, boom, an extreme close-up of the bump. Again, in a very oblique angle because we see that this crutch is going to hit this bump, causing Christian to fall down to the ground. And for me, again, this is foreshadowing the big climax that Christian is going to face falling down the hill and having to climb up. And then we see him on the ground. And then he finally looks up and he sees the shrine. And we can see right here just his face just looking at this shrine. This close up of him looking very defeated. And again right here we see that shrine. And there's that little rise to reveal the shrine. And we can then cut to the close-ups of the pictures again showing not telling for me the reason why i went with pictures is because you know there's that old saying a picture is worth a thousand words and that's kind of true in this case because we're getting so much information we see christian and his mother and then we just see a soul image of just his mother we see like this little angel here just sort of looking down on her and right here, actually, you'll see Christian as he climbs up the chair right here. Again, that's foreshadowing what's going to happen when he took the bump. And then he has to climb up this chair right here. It's to show later on when he falls down of the hill. So we see that. And again, there's this nice sliding shot of the shrine. And then it cuts to him grabbing the news clipping. And then boom, you know, just to show more of that, there's this close up of one dead, one injured. And we know who the injured person is. And now we know who is dead. Even though there's words on this page, you know, I didn't say anything. It's not like he's reading the article or anything. He's, we, we're just seeing a close up of these words. And, you know, we see right here, you know, his face is just totally down and his eyes here. Are just totally black and we can see right here he then just puts his face off the camera and we just see him just like move his head and kind of like take a deep breath and he's really getting emotional and then you'll notice right here when he looks up his eye starts to have that little shimmer that little white shimmer to show that he's like looking up at his mother just remembering her he takes that little deep breath and then of course in the background we hear the sound of a car and the actual crash and the ambulances showing up i think the best way to do that is maybe just just have the sounds of it the sounds of the cars the sounds of the crash and the ambulances that'll really help show that without having to actually show the car accident and it just it all in all turned into a very great and emotional scene so moving on, 
we have this one shot here of the phone ringing and Christian, you know, getting that response again. We have like this little crane shot right here because I did want to have some dialogue to have some exposition. And in this case, the person that's calling him is, is his buddy, Eric. He really sympathizes with Christian and what he's going through. And he really wants to help him. Hey, Christian, it's Eric. How are you holding up? Uh, I was I was just gonna hang out over at uh, the convenience store, and uh, I was wondering if maybe, you know, if you if you wanted to join me. So you know, he's mentioning that you know um, he's gonna hang out at like this convenience store, and he was wondering if you wanted to join him. You know, he he wants Christian to get out of the house and to be more active, just to like not let all of these negative and sad emotions like get down on him and we need to get through like that pain whether it be physically or mentally you know we have to get through it you know uh, i i feel that you know it's probably not best to you know mope around in your house all day you saw right there he was saying you know i don't want you just moping around in your house all day because he, he really does sympathize with christian he wants him to not be this very sad introverted person so the billboard you see here like that that's a real billboard but the the image here the i am a fighter that was made by me i decided to go with a army advertisement i wanted to have that element because you know that relates totally with what christian is going through because you know um he's literally fighting for his like physical and mental state you know even before he climbs the hill, just like going through like all those emotions and he needs to just learn how to fight through those and keep on pushing forward. Uh, right here again, we have Christian, you know, leaving. So, yeah, so uh, the cars there, since um, I didn't like have like the actual like footage of like a car accident and all that stuff. So what I did instead was I just raised the levels of the uh, the cars right here just to show like that like that mindset of just like you know being in that car accident and just hearing like the, the sounds of the car and you know the the honking of the horns you know it, it's just it's 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 really like sudden just like it's just rising and rising and rising uh, we can see here again the camera is slightly tilted and we see of course that hill as we move on here we see christian again walking through his close-up right here not really knowing where he's going and then all of a sudden he just boom similar to the bump in the floor of his house now we have this twig here that once again trips him up and again this oblique angle and then he falls out of frame and this is where we get to uh one of my favorite shots, at least not just to film, but also to edit the falling down the hill. So let's just watch this real quick. It's, it, it, it's you know, after seeing what Christian was going through and just to see him just like stumble and stumble and roll down this hill, it's 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 pretty sad and it's, it's kind of scary when you think about it. And it looks like it hurt, it, but, you know, Julian, he was he was OK. You know, he was he was fine with it. You know, he was he was having fun. You know, we were all having fun. And again, we have like this wide shot here again, like just seeing like this hill, it's very very grimy it looks very deserted and i like this tree in the background like the the whole tree here is just broken in half and then we see christian just like laying right beside it it's just very you know it's a nice visual element to show the broken how broken christian is and how broken that tree is it's literally cut in half and then right here this one shot here i also like this shot here it just looks very very nice we have like the contrast of like the brown and the green here and then like the contrast of the blue 
uh, up against the brown here. And something I want to point out right now is uh, the uh, clothes that Christian wears. You know, he wears this white shirt, but he also wears like this sort of blue gray sweater that kind of goes over his his white shirt again j just like with choices you know like how daniel wore that white polo to show like that purity and that innocence but then the film color of all was blue so this is kind of like that you know he has like that white and that purity inside him he's still a good person but that blue and gray is sort of overtaking him with the sweater so that was something i wanted to have you know because I, I i did think about like costuming when it came to christian and i thought like you know blue on top of white would be the best for him and then right here we move back and you know whereas like in the beginning it was all like nice sliding shots very smooth and panning and very very calming here i mean it's all very jerky like i mean rolling down the hill and then like this one shot here of just like like just like going back and the camera movement is all jerky here and we see christian literally in between the two crutches because again and again like there's that oblique angle to further show like that oh man his crutches are all the way at the top and christian's at the bottom what is he going to do you know and then we have like this close-up of christian he sort of darts his eyes left and right looking around trying to see if there's anyone there but obviously there isn't and he just kind of takes like that deep breath right there and then we know like oh man is he gonna sure enough next thing you know boom the hand just comes into the frame just full close-up of the hand and he just starts climbing and or crawling his way up that hill Something I want to point out um, is like, again, because sound was very vital in this. I, I had like this doormat that sort of had like this grass texture. And I would just like, I would just like, just like rub my hand across from it. And then I get like some rocks and pebbles from like my backyard. And I would just like rub them together. And I would just like then put it all together. And you get like this sound right here of just like sound of like the body just like crawling and like just like scraping across the ground and it's kind of like a it's not a very pleasant sound to hear and again we have like the close-up of the hand crawling up and then like rack focus to the crutch and then we have like this very jerky shot of him just like finally grabbing the crutches right but then right here this shot we see him finally standing and then he sort of grabs the crutches next to him. He holds them to his side and he realizes that, listen, I just did all of this without the use of these crutches. I physically, I managed to crawl my way up this hill and he realizes that, you know, like these crutches are kind of, they're holding me back. He doesn't need them anymore. And he realizes that and then as he's standing and the scene finally comes to him just deciding to say screw you and he throws those crutches down the hill you know this is that moment where he says you know i beat you i won right here we see him standing overpowering those crutches right there and then finally he turns around and he's walking obviously he's still limping and um He's smiling right here, as we can see, because, I mean, he's he's happy for what he's done. He feels proud of what he's done. He's smiling. You know, this is really the only time we see Christian smile. And he's he just is very happy. He looks up. We see him right here looking up, thinking about his mother. And then he just looks down and smiles again as he just walks into frame fade to black thank you for watching the crutch scene breakdown hopefully you enjoyed and uh yeah mm -hmm.